bullshit, bullshit, bullshit. That was the most bullshit call I've ever seen. Elden Ring is not game of the year. It should have went to God of War Ragnarok. Elden Ring has been out for half of the year. Now, the reason why I call bullshit on this is, well, I have personal beef with Elden Ring on personal issues. But besides the point, here is my thoughts on the Game Awards. You already know my thoughts on Game of the Year, so there's that. But other than that, I'm really glad that Sony and Nintendo had successful successful night. I mean, Nintendo walked away with like three awards. Two of them were surprising to me. One obviously was Kirby and the Forgotten Land. Won the best family game of the year. That's awesome. And the other one was Splatoon 3. Splatoon 3 won best multiplayer of the year. Out beating juggernauts like COD, Overwatch 2, and, well, Multiverses. So I really don't think anybody could sit here and say that the Nintendo and Nintendo Switch are babies anymore. I am also very surprised that we are getting a Bayonetta origin story. I'm looking forward to that game. But where was Legend where is Zelda Breath Bleah! Where was the Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom at? I would have thought that would have been shown. Also, where was Indiana Jones? <laughs> you could just tell that Phil did not want to be there at all. He only took home one award and that really wasn't it wasn't his bread and butter. But As Dusk Falls is a fantastic game. You should go play it. So the overall package, I'm giving the Game Awards for 2022. I'm going to give it a solid 6. There were a lot of announcements of games that I have no interest in. But I'm sure somebody else is going to love them. There were a few that I'm actually intrigued in. So I'm just going to quickly run through them. Obviously, I'm intrigued by the Bayonetta origin story. I'm intrigued by that Judas game. I'm also intrigued by the new game from Don't Nod. Let's see what else am I intrigued in. And let's see here. <laughs> Star Wars Jedi Survivor looks fantastic. I'm looking forward to the Crash multiplayer rumble game. That's going to be awesome. Horizon is having a DLC that's going to drop soon. That's going to be awesome. I'm really looking forward to Suicide Squad Justice League game because we're getting to we're getting bat the voice of Batman one last time. R.I.P. And the more I see the Mario Bros. movie, the more and more I get excited. So let me know, guys, in the comments section below. What are some of your games that you're looking forward to next year from the Game Awards? Also, I know some people are going to like Street Fighter VI, Tekken 8. There's a new Armor Core game. That's dropping. Also, we have Final Fantasy 16 out in June. That's going to be Blockbuster. We have a demo for Forspoken. And yeah, I think that's everything that was of interest to me that I could get a hold of quickly because they were just going through trailers like this. So unless you're jotting stuff down, you missed a lot of stuff. But yeah. If you want me to do more Game Awards thoughts, smack this video with a like. And I'll be here next year for 2023 to do another one. If you guys want it, until the next video, bye guys.